What is up everybody? Welcome back. Back in Texas and uh, had an awesome trip if you saw the verse video. If you haven't, go check it out. Uh, buddy Joel shot his first rifle bull elk in New Mexico. I was hunting with Eric from Hushin and Joel with Whitetail Fit. Also, uh, one happy horn hunter. His name is Dreo. Awesome dude. He's the one who sells the tags, so y'all go check him out too. If y'all want any kind of landowner tags in New Mexico, he can hook you up. I just got back. It is the next morning, and uh, I'm spilling the beans. I did shoot a bull, and if you hear that loud, roaring sound in the background, I am going to do a step-by-step -step process on how to European mount a bull elk. Um, I still have all this meat for my truck. It has not been unpacked yet, so I have all this meat. Um, and what I do, if you don't want to buy dry ice because it's so expensive, um, I take plastic bags and put ice in plastic bags uh, over the meat so the ice never touches the meat uh, and your meat's not sitting in water. So I still have all that elk um, ice down and it is nice and cold letting it age for a little while i'm going to be cutting that meat up today as well so if we uh, get into it in the video i may cut up some meat show you guys how i break down an elk get back home if i don't take it to the processor uh, which i'm trying not to do anymore i'm trying to do it all myself so got to unpack the truck but right now we are working on doing a euro mount on this elk uh, i am not mounting him i'm doing a european mount on him so it's super loud when I go over there, but I'll tell you the first process that I do, the first step is obviously cape the head, take all the skin, meat, eyes out, tongue, everything like that, take the bottom jaw off. Um, so now I have it sitting in a bucket of water and it is starting to boil. So I'm gonna let this come to a rolling boil. Once that skin on the middle of the head starts splitting, then I'll show you what the next process is, but it takes a while for this water to boil because it's so much. Uh, so we're gonna let that sit there and start boiling, and then I'll show you what the next process is. All right guys, went and got the uh, pressure washer ready, and uh, Found out that it was broken, so I just had to run to Home Depot, grab some new parts for a pressure washer. But as you can see, the, the uh, skin is starting to peel. See how it's breaking apart? So I'm about to pull it. We're gonna go pressure washer. We're gonna go spray it down, make sure everything's good. And then we're gonna work on getting every little piece of meat and skin off of this head. Move on to the uh, next step. But let me grab this guy. I'll meet you over at the pressure washer. All right guys, so uh, when you're doing this, you want to make sure you're wearing either stuff that you don't care about getting wet or wear you an apron and it will protect you from getting nasty brains and all kinds of stuff all over you. So I'm gonna throw this on and uh, enjoy this time lapse of getting all of this nastiness off of this bull's head. Alright guys, so the bottom part of this top jaw on this elk is broken. Um, so I'm going to try to glue that back together, but I just want to show you all one thing that you need to do. Um, 
in this process is break these ears out uh, and put something in there and then you can pop it you know just kind of break that ear apart just like that so you're not messing anything up you're you're literally just breaking the ear um, ear bone out so you can get all that cartilage out that you don't want in there it's super hard to get it out unless you do this process so now I got it all broke free I should be able to um, pressure wash all that out so you make sure you get both sides go right in the ear hole and then just break it just like that so there is a little bit of bone but nothing to be scared of you're not gonna hurt anything you're not gonna you're not gonna ruin your euro mount or anything like that so I'm gonna keep pressure washing and uh, then we'll go on to the next step all right guys so next step in this process is to whiten so I got 40 by volume uh, peroxide and we're gonna do 50% peroxide 50% water so I'm gonna put the head in the bucket we're gonna fill up um, we're gonna fill it with half peroxide, half water. But you wanna put the head in there because the displacement of the head in the water will tell you how much, will tell you exactly how much you need. So we'll start dumping this in. And I'm also going to duct tape these horns so they don't get whitened. All right, guys, we got the horns taped and it is ready to boil. So I'm gonna light it up and we're gonna let it boil. Once it comes to a rolling boil, we'll let it sit in there for a few minutes and we'll turn it off and let it cool down. It has been boiling, I just turned the heat off. We're gonna pull it out, we're gonna go pressure wash it one more time, looking good. And I have the other part of the jaw in there as well that I gotta fish out. So I'm gonna take this out, go pressure wash it, and uh, she is looking good and about done. guys so that is pretty much it I'm gonna put a little mop and glow on it just to uh, kind of keep that shine on it and uh, I'm gonna let it sit here in the Sun and dry for the rest of the day 
and then uh, I do have the other pieces of this jaw so I'll glue those on here in a little bit um, I'll show you what that looks like after it gets done drying but you really want to let them dry and um, let them sit in the sun it'll bleach them even a little more so I'm actually gonna set it more in the sun than it is right now but that is the basic process of how you European mount an elk so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll catch you when it's done drying done finished product looks awesome I ended up gluing the jaw piece back so there's this whole piece right here and then this little section right here had been broken off but they both turned out good got a little bit of coloration right there that i don't like but that's okay you won't even notice it on the wall but everything on the skull colored uh, amazingly and uh still gonna wait to put the mop and glow on it to shine it up i'm gonna keep letting it dry but awesome euro mount another one for the wall and we have meat for days so here's my here's my big elk from this year he's being mounted so i didn't do a year on him uh, thing looks like an octopus doesn't it giant but this guy super happy with this couldn't be more stoked on that hunt y'all please go check out uh the hushing guys eric and um joel over at whitetail fit they'll be linked in the description along with uh, one happy horn hunter, which is Dreo. He's the one who got us hooked up with these tags. So had an epic time. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw today that I put on there that we are possibly going to sell three hunts at my ranch. You'll be guided by me or my dad. Uh, it'll be fully guided, outfitted hunt. Uh, we have Axis, Audad, Oryx, Black Buck, and um, it'll be an epic time. So those three spots are probably going to go pretty quick, so uh, go follow me on Instagram, or you can email us uh, at stlknoutdoors at gmail.com um, for inquiries, but please, only if you're serious. I have a price list of the hunts on my Instagram story, so go check it out on Instagram, and uh, if you're serious about it, send us an email. Um, it'd be a great Christmas gift uh, to do with your husband or your son. We'll probably do this hunt. Um, either later this year or beginning of next year so january or february um that way it's right after christmas or we can do it right before christmas so um y'all go check that out but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i kind of spilled the beans on this elk but that the video of this elk hunt is going up sunday so y'all stay tuned for that y'all go check out my merch site moltman.net you can get moltman bait co baits and uh t-shirts hats all that kind of stuff my spice um so y'all go check that out Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.